Well, good day. It is I uh, once again, deep light, dark bright. I'm deeply in the light, and I'm rather bright when I'm not in the dark, and therefore I'm full of light. Because why? Because I'm deep. Deep light, dark bright. Here to talk about, well, the brightness of being. And how does that happen? Well, we're, we're being bright. <laughs> That's how we have the brightness of being, because we're being bright. Now, aren't we? Yes, we are. And, well, we have a brain. And it has what? It has neurons. And what do those neurons do? Well, they move, they run, they run about with thoughts, and they move the thoughts forward into consciousness. So we have neurons and they're running. Why? Because they're called neurons, silly. And neurons run. They're neurons, neurons. So neurons or neurons, whatever, they're awning, they're running, they're moving. And they're elastic. They expand like consciousness, like thoughts. So we have neurons that run and we have consciousness that thinks and we have synapses that are what? Ooh, synapses. Well, what is a synapse? Well, synapse is actually an apse of an absence of moral thought because of, well, absence of moral thought and immoral thought because it's why it's full of sin and we have a synapse. So we've got a problem. We have immoral thought activity creating sin in our apps. Our apps are synapse. Oh, you know, those synapse, they created apps for us on the phone. So that's interesting. So synapse, when they're thinking correctly and morally, can create good technology. Henceforth, we have apps created by human synapses. So, okay, so the brain is moving, expanding, being elastic. Um, and so we know that they run, and well, neurons run, and they fire. They fire like what? Well, they fire rounds of what? They fire rounds of ammunition? No, they fire rounds of thought. They go round and round and round and round, and well, in rounds of thought. And we fire those thoughts. Actually, we don't, if we don't like our thoughts, we can fire them. You know that, don't you? You're fired. Okay, so when you fire your thoughts and they're firing, they're moving, and they're firing, they can be caught in the crosshairs of what? Well, the crosshairs of hotness, because, well, can they be hot? Well, if they're running fast, and they're burning hot, and they're moving quickly and creating friction in thought, then yes, thoughts can be hot. They can be sexy thought. Sexy hot and sexy thoughts can be, well, just hot thinking. So be careful. You can be really hot. You don't want to be caught in the crosshairs of a really angry woman when you're having sexy hot thoughts, unless they're about her. So it's important to, uh, well, recapsulate. That's a word, by the way, recapsulate. Um, how our brain works. Well, we know it moves. We know it fires. We know it has synapses. We know it expands in consciousness. And it's hot and, well, it's sexy. So therefore, we know. What do we know? Well, we don't know much of anything because the neurons are always continually running. From what? Well, from themselves. In search of what? In search of new thoughts. So, the brain can create new thoughts and be expansive and elastic and hot and running round and round and round in reason. So, there you go. The reason of thought from me, deep light, dark bright.